Hello people, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this rolling paper effect. First, we're going to understand the concept behind the design. Then, we're going to go to After Effects and animate it. Hopefully, by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to animate these things. So with that said, let's begin. So, before the animation, let's understand the basics first. Here, I have this simple paper with three different parts. One in the back, one in the middle, and one in the front. They're all in different layers. Now, if we animate this, it's gonna be the back part coming up, then the middle part going down, then the front part coming up again. Now here, I see a lot of people forget to add this entire back part. You need to remember what is going to reveal first. If you animate just this back part, which is poking out, you're gonna lose that illusion of this paper being a 3D object. So when you're designing, keep this in mind and draw the whole thing. Now, let's talk about the speed or velocity. For the parts which are coming up, it's gonna come up slow cause it's going up against the gravity. And for the parts which are coming down, are gonna come down relatively fast because of the gravity. So the speed graph gonna look something like this. Now this is very subjective because one can say, what if the part going up is thrusting upwards with an external force? In that case, the speed graph might look different. So this all is kind of depends on what is the look you're going for. Now, the example I just showed you is a relatively simple one. What about something a bit more complex with more swirls? For that, I want to direct your attention to this amazing diagram. Here we can see the paper has more swirls. So how should we draw it so we get all those swirls? Again you need to think about the layers in which part is going to reveal first. In this case, the first thing which gonna get revealed is the center part. So we draw this part first. Again, I'm drawing this entire thing, not just the part which is poking out. Now we're going to draw this front part, which is going to form the first swirl. I basically used circle to maintain consistency. Now the next part for the next swirl, again, I drew it full and this is gonna go all the way back in the design and in the layer order. And for the front part, again, this is gonna go in front of all of those previous parts and in the layer order too. So if I open up Illustrator now, you can see how I have created them. I have named each layer and assigned a number so I can animate them in that order. So this is how you design them and put them in the correct layer order so you have no issue animating them. I imported this illustrator layer in After Effects and started animating each part with masks. I'm just doing what I explained earlier. I did have to overlap few layers just a bit to match up with the speed but again, this is very subjective as I mentioned earlier. So this is how you can animate those swirly rolling papers. As you can see, if you get the layers in order right, it's not that complicated. I know this is not the most exciting tutorial, but I really hope this helped you guys to get a more clear understanding of how to set these type of animations up. I am putting out the example file I showed you in the beginning of this tutorial on my Gumroad page. If you guys want to, you can download it or make your own rolling paper. As always, if you liked it, leave a like, share and comment down below your thoughts. For more motion graphics content, please do subscribe to Motion Nerds. Take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.